Animaker Basic is a stop-motion animation software designed by Animagine Private Limited. The interface of Animaker Basic is intelligently laid out for smooth and efficient creation of stop-motion animation. It's designed to be friendly and forgiving for new learners of animation. The Capture Frame button is the button we'll be using the most. By default, Every click on this button will tell Animaker to capture a frame of what your camera is looking at. Your captured frames will appear on the thumbnail timeline. Your animated video is made up of individual frames like these. The aim is to make each frame successively different from the next, so when the entire sequence of frames is played back, the movements look smooth and continuous. A sequence of 24 frames will play back for one second. For example, if you want a toy car to zip across the screen in two seconds, you'll need to move it little by little over 24 times 2, which is 48 frames. This is the basic and universal concept of animation. Every animator, regardless of whether you are a student or professional, will have to follow the 24 frames per second rule. However, there is a method that is time-saving and yet can still result in good animation. Click on the frame multiplier. From the list of the numbers, choose 2. Now with one click of the Capture Frame button, Animaker captures two frames of every movement you make in front of the camera. This means we no longer have to make 24 movements for one second of animation. We only have to make 12. Toggling the onion skin on helps me to decide where or how much I should move my subject by showing me my previous frames. It looks like a ghosting special effect. To preview our animation, we need to switch to Preview Edit Mode. Do this simply by clicking on the Preview Edit button, located just below the Capture Frame button. Once in, you should see a quick change of the interface. A row of buttons similar to the controls of a VCR should be seen. Yes, these familiar-looking buttons do what you think they do. They control the playback of your capture sequence. Clicking on the Play button will allow you to preview your entire capture sequence. Besides being fun, previewing your animation also allows you to spot any mistakes that you might have made without knowing. One of the most common mistakes, for instance, is having your hands accidentally captured by the camera. When you are in Preview Edit Mode, the Quick Edit tools beneath the timeline are automatically unlocked and accessible. This makes it convenient for us to immediately correct any mistakes we may spot when we preview our animation. Let's look at a simplified example of how this can be done. First, use the playback controls to search for the offending frames. To speed things up, you can also click and drag the scrubber to browse through your sequence quickly. When you locate the offending frame, click on its thumbnail. If there is more than one, you can select them by holding down the control key on your keyboard while selecting them. If you are sure the selected frames are the ones that you'd like to remove, simply click on the Delete Frame button. Preview your sequence after the frames are removed to check for any more mistakes. If you think you have done something unintentional, you may also make use of the Undo and Redo buttons. Once you are satisfied with the quick edit changes you've made, click on the Continue Animating button to continue your capturing.
Anytime you feel you're done with your animation, simply click on the Make Movie button located at the right side of the Animaker interface. This tells Animaker to take the captured sequence on your timeline and render it into an animated movie file. When it's done, the movie file will be automatically played on your computer's default media player, which in my case is the Windows Media Player. Sit back and look at your finished work in its full video resolution. After your movie is rendered, it will also appear in the gallery at the bottom right-hand corner. The Movie Functions button houses essential functions you can perform on the finished movie clips in your gallery. Just click on the button to see a drop-down list of these functions. You can choose to change the name of any movie clip using Rename Movie. Simply enter the new name you wish to give your clip. You can also save your clip into, perhaps, your thumb drive by using Save Movie As. In the dialog box that pops up, simply search for the folder or location where you wish to save your movie clip to. Animation is both lively and fun to watch for all ages. It can be entertaining and it can be useful as well. It's up to your creativity to decide how you wish to use it. Have fun and enjoy animating!